The rules, Kinsey. That's right. I know. I'm, rule. I'm not going to let you down. I can barely hear you, though. So if I say something that doesn't make sense, just go with it. Okay. You told me a really interesting story. First of all, you found this thing on Craigslist. This really cool vehicle. Again, yeah. you said it's clean, it's reputable. Tell me about that. So, yeah, we started this uh, last April um, as something that my daughter thought of, and it just Emily, kind of... get over here. This is Emily. Is she not precious? So this Hi. is the creator of the Meltdown ice cream truck. She had the idea. She uh, helped sketch it up and design it, and then uh, one of our good friends actually put the whole thing together, and we got the design and, and launched it as the Meltdown. We wanted to be something that was um, nostalgic, you know, have all the classic ice creams, and build those memories back in the neighborhood so that people would feel like, okay, this is a part of their childhood and it gives their kids something positive to look forward to. And how long did you have to look at Craigslist before you found, Craigslist before you found a random ice cream this, truck available? This was about four years in the making. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, we didn't want to just go out there as, you know, the regular old ice cream truck. We wanted it to be something special and something different. So we spent a lot of time and effort getting it to where it is. And Emily, uh, do you ever go out with your dad and actually get to participate? Like, are you, does he put you to work is what I'm asking. Yes. <laughs> you do. And what is your favorite flavor that you guys carry around in here? Um, I really like the Warheads Bomb Pop, Ooh. which is really sour, but it's like my favorite. Does it turn your mouth like red? It turns it purple because oh. of green, blue, and the violet color. Science, science. And do your <laughs> friends get to participate too? Yes, actually. Oh, so fun. They've been on the truck before. And you do private parties. How often do you do those? Um, it's honestly it's been almost every day this wow. year uh, last year we started up in April and it was kind of a slow thing where we were just like the neighborhood ice cream truck yeah. and then it's just blown up and now we are we're doing parties we're doing weddings we do open houses we do oh. barbecues um, yeah. corporate places have us come during their lunch hour so it's just been taken off and it's been great so all right and um, Emily I'm gonna need you to hold your ears like that okay so I heard that you can put some of these popsicles with adult beverages I saw that on your yes. Instagram account can you show me and tell me a little bit about pairing I saw it with specifically a Batman I think so yeah we can do Batman which is is good with like a Pilsner or a uh, you know a lager type so classic Batman here yeah um, we also like to pair with like IPAs. I'm a huge IPA fan, and right. so we uh, we go to a lot of the local breweries and stuff. So we like to pair like the chocolate bars with the uh, with the IPA. So that's some hardcore adulting. So yeah. if, if you could pick a, if you could pick one for Canby and Cody and myself, uh, Cody wants a Batman. Um, okay. Could we, could we uh, perhaps I'll I O U. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, it's on us. Whatever you guys oh, want. Perfect. So. Thank you so much. Back to yeah. you guys in the studio. Okay. I'm going to sit here and pillage. Okay. <laughs> I'm purging. Yeah, her first check hasn't come in from CBS yet, so she's <laughs> so 